we are going to look at searching for a key in a tree. So given a tree, given an adjacency list for a tree, and also given a key, how do we search if that key is existing or is present in the tree? So let's try the function. You know, so it's going to use either the bright first search because this is a search operation. So it's going to use either the bright first search algorithm or the depth first search algorithm. So it's going to be, let's call it Let's call this function search. It's going to take the adjacency list for the tree and it's going to take a key. All right. Okay. So, as before, we are going to uh, create two data structures. So, one is going to be the star. So, assuming we want to use a, a depth first search, so I'm going to create a star and I'm going to create a visited as well. So, this is going to be visited here. All right. So I'm going to first um, place the, the root in the stack, right? So I'm going to place a root node in the stack. So it's going to be uh, G. <coughs> the root is going to be G, all right? So we are going to iterate through the stack. So I'm going to say while stack is not empty, while stack, while stack is not empty, is the same as while stack. So we are going to first pop the node from the uh, the particular node, the current node from the stack. So it's going to be stack dot pop, and then we are going to insert the two children of this stack onto the visited array if they are not already there. So I'm going to say if if this node is not already in visited array, place the two uh, children of this node in the visited array. Let's also create another variable that holds either true or false uh, depending on whether the key is found. So I'm going to call it found is equal to false for now until if it's found, then it's going to be true. So I'm going to say while stack is not empty. So while stack. So we are going to extract a node from the stack, the very first node from the stack. So it's going to be stack.pop. Okay. And once we pop this from the stack, we are going to add it to the visited array if it's not already there. If, so I'm going to say if node not in visited, so we are going to add it to the visited array. But we can also check uh, before we add it, we are going to say if we are going to compare this node with the key. So if node equal to key we are going to set found to be true all right good and we can actually just return here return true instead of continuing we can just return true uh, right here so if not is equal to return true return immediately else is going to continue iterating so it's going to say if node not in visitate so it's going to add this node to the visitate so it's going to be visitate that append and append the node right there and it's going to then secondly append the children of this node onto the stack so i'm going to use this comprehension to say stack dot append x for x in al of the node all right L of the node. At the end of the day, we are also going to return return found. All right. So if found did not was not did not become true, then it, of course it's going to return. It's going to still be false here, right? So it's, we are going to just return it. So let's go try it out. Let's go down to the main program. Let's say print um, uh, search for given the same adjacency list. So we're going to search for A, for instance. So let's search for A. So let's see. And it says true. Okay, that is fine. So let's search for X. And it says false. Okay, so you can see that it's actually working. And let's search for W and it also says false. And finally, we search for G and it says true. So we've completed the search function and I hope it's very clear and I'd like to stop here. In the next part, we now 
take an exercise in Hakarang, which is printing out the tree top view.